All right, you guys, I'm testing this out again. I'm not using the top view. I'm sorry, the whole thing fell and broke. Um, <laughs> I think this is the fourth or fifth time. Anyways, I'm gonna sing some music. First, let me see if this is recording because that's a whole other thing. Just give me a sec. Okay, so I'm back. So yeah, I can't, I know the quality is not the best on my laptop, but I kind of have to do uh, do it this way. So I have to buy a, a better apparatus apparently. Um, yeah, so I'll show you, this is the grid work that I was doing, you guys. Um, I've put this here to ground the darker forces. <coughs> my wands are selenite wands. See, I'm clearing energy right now. <coughs> this is, this dark energy is um, a betrayal energy. It's a dark energy that's been in my family that I've been healing with my cousin as well. So that we've been doing a lot of deep ancestral healing. We are at the stages of completely ending a lot of like betrayal wounds, depression wounds, overgiving wounds, codependency wounds in my family lineage with the women in our family. So a lot of these energies that are clearing this dark thing is moving, it'll move through your, your ancestry line. If it, if you heal this stuff, you guys, spirit wants me to tell you this message. If you heal this stuff, it moves to other people in your ancestry line that have the same issues. So let's clear again a little bit. I'm going to sing some medicine music. Um, I would, I, I will put a timestamp so you can go right to the reading, but please, what I channel is high potency vibrancy. Okay. I am creating a safe container. Um, I sing and connect consistently to spirit and to Mama Ayahuasca, who I believe is mother nature and to the earth and, um, whew, the power that I have, I know this is why I get attacked. So I've been attacked since I was a little kid. So, um, my whole family lineage is super sensitive and psychic. So I, we have been, me and my cousin have been trying to heal this. Also, we're starting our own podcast. So she's an amazing intuitive as well. And she's also um, a psychologist. So we work with a lot of psychological aspects as well. Um, we're super smart women in my family. So we want to bring a lot of these energies together. So stay tuned because we're starting a podcast soon and um, all that info will be, um, available. And also, again, if you want to work with ayahuasca and plant medicines, hit me up. But let's, before we start, please, I'm going to put a timestamp also, but because this reading has taken most of my morning, um, but it has to come out. Um, please sit back. Please enjoy this song. Please connect to the grid work that I have here. These, this is feminine energy. This is masculine energy. These handles hold um, high potency water, little vessels of water from all sacred waters from around the world. Okay. Um, um, all kinds of different and soil and all kinds of different things. And they're very, it's very power. They're very powerful ones. I have my twin flame crystal here. I have a high crystal sending light up. I have a Lumerian crystal that is touching the grid work first uh, so that it can transmute first from, um, I have obsidian underneath this rose quartz as well. Okay. So that it can ground. Okay. And, and heal and bring in um, through the Lumerian crystal code so that it can transcend all kinds of energies, okay? The Lumerian crystal is very important because it'll transcend. This is what Spirit's telling me. It's just the rocks talk to me. Everything talks to me, fuck. <laughs> Sorry, I don't need to swear, but it's just like, seriously, everything talks to me. <laughs> so um, they're telling me the grid work in the stones um, are evening out the energy so that it grounds in a much more congruent way so that we're not having chaotic uh, energy, which I've been experiencing because spirit is saying all these new vibrations are coming in to the collective. Um, yeah, it's becoming very potent. So, okay. Sorry guys. I'm trying to, I don't usually like to use my laptop, but I'm going to take a sip of water. I'm going to put the lyrics to this song down below. Please sit back. Please feel this out. <clears throat> it's very important. I feel to hear this. The song is called Que Medicina. <laughs> it's that this medicine is available to everybody on the planet. 
And this is what I do for everybody that I work with. I sing and bring in high potent vibration. <clears throat> Thank you, spirit. Please bring in these high codes. Please clear with your purifying light of Christ consciousness, of God's source, of the masculine energy that is so bright. It's bright like the sun. Thank you. Pew! Please transmit any darkness. Please create a safe space for everyone watching this. <clears throat> Please push that darkness away. And if the darkness wants to come, know that this bright light of God will purify it and burn it and transmute it. Thank you. Oh, no. 
So, <clears throat> this is good. Woo! <laughs> I feel, I think we've cleared it. This is some dark stuff, you guys, that's coming through. Okay, another sip of water. Let's get started. So, the last two days I have been attacked by old ancestral patterns that I have in relationship stuff. Sorry, guys. All this stuff. Um, that has happened in relationship-wise in my family lineage. The betrayal of women, um, never being able to, you know, being alone, not finding love, having to do everything on their own, blah, blah, blah. A lot of these old patterns have been triggered that I've been healing <laughs> for a long time. But spirit is saying that they're coming up for a reason because what's happening is your other counterpart, whoever is holding the divine masculine, is doing 3D work. And when 3D work happens and you cut that energy in the 3D, um, and because you're one soul, it goes to the feminine energy who is able to pick up intuitively. And it scratches at the wounds that you've already healed, okay, divine feminines. And because of that, <clears throat> and this is why this reading has been so hard to get out today, um, cause it doesn't want this message to get out to you so that you're recognizing at this time from now, it's going to be very potent with the eclipse. I'm doing a reading for that. So make sure if you're new to my channel, subscribe and uh, get those notification bells. And also, um, it's going to go until the end of 2020 because this year has been all this dark stuff trying to take control of our planet as well. Okay. And, um, Pachamama, gracias Pachamama and Mother Earth really trying to bring in the energies of healing for us. And that's why COVID is here. Spirit is bringing through so that we can rest and recognize what we really need to do. So I'm already getting messages already coming out here. For Divine Masculine is currently working on expansion, okay? Working on healing, expansion, working really hard. And this is what I'm seeing. Working really hard at the expansion, at um, creating and this is divine feminine energy. I feel masculines tapping into, into the heart space, action spirit, divine masculine. So they're releasing a lot of their dark family codes. They know about the journey. Okay. This is much higher compared to the other readings that I did. This is much higher vibration. So spirit is really bringing it because this is all throat chakra uh, stuff that's coming in and, um, that's really good that it's the higher chakras that are coming in okay for divine masculine spirit is saying a lot of us are getting fooled by these darker this came out in every single read the perfection okay um for dm and divine feminine so this is root chakra stuff so this is grounding we're moving up into the higher chakras now spirit is saying this is the ascension and what is happening here with the Divine Masculine? Those dark codes are being released in the 3D. So we're going to do for Divine Feminine as well. Spirits also say we're going to do an extension as well to see exactly, um, yeah, what's happening in the interaction between the two. Right now we're just going to get a general read to see what's happening. These portals are what's uh, opening up for Divine Masculine right now, okay? So, yeah, I'm already seeing a feeling a difference in the energy. Whew, thank you, Spirit. I feel like I can breathe again. Oh my God, it's just that energy was really trying to get at me not to get this message out, guys. So you may have to rehear, listen to this again, okay? Especially over the weekend and as we move into the eclipse, okay? Um, but let's take a look here. These are the portals that are starting to open up. Spirit is saying with divine masculine energy, okay? So these are the portals that are opening up. So let's take a look here. In the 3D world, if they're not opening up now, like if they haven't opened yet, they are on the verge of opening. In the mind space where his mind is expanding, we have what portal is opening up? We have embracing the future, opening the door. As I'm saying that, look, those doors are opening up. We have a doorway here, okay? We have in the heart space, working hard to create, to plant seeds, knowing with divine feminine energy, with the working card. We have quest this is coming to grandma. This is where I see ayahuasca coming to grandma, coming to mother earth saying, I'm ready for my quest mama. Okay. Being mothered, healing mother issues too, women issues. Okay. <clears throat> Spirit wants me to take two renewing life, getting rid of clutter. Okay. So this is divine masculine, getting rid of all the stuff that's not serving him right now. And we in wanting to manifest dreams, my dreams are coming true really in a manifesting mode here. And we have perfection. 
cherishing himself, okay? Knowing that he's perfect. He's perfect exactly how he was made. And whatever this karmic energy has been trying to infiltrate, he's not, hey, not taking it no more. No, 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 no. We're going to pull some more here, it's fair to say. Let's take a look. Let's go a little deeper. And then we're going to clarify. Whew, you guys, I feel so much better now. Much more aligned. I can't tell you. <laughs> and I have a meeting with my shaman. Look at this. Completion of karmic energy, okay? I have a meeting. We're putting together our ayahuasca retreats. And I'm like, seriously, like, I have a call in two hours. <laughs> I need to get this out to you guys. Um, look at this. Completion, right? Completion of karma. That came up in the last two readings too, guys. I wish I could show you those. Um, but yeah, same thing. It was just new beginnings, not the not the um, completion, but it was new beginnings and karma completion, okay? So let's take a look here. Ooh, thank you, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope. I, I can't even tell you what the energy feels so much better. All right, let's see. Divine Masculine, embracing the future. Yes, my DMs. Embracing, embracing. We're going to take a look at these three. Yeah, I'm sitting in the living room, guys. I can't sit in my room the whole time. It's so annoying. It's like my kids take over this whole damn place. I feel like I'm trapped in there most of the time. Um so I'm sitting on the couch. So here, what do we have in the mind space? Taking care of his mind patterns, parenting himself, embracing the future, expanding out of old thought processes, working with his, look at the guides that are completely around him. Okay. Working with his ancestors, working with his angels, working with spirit to expand from those old mind patterns and taking care of himself. Okay. I heard a honk outside. So spirits like pay attention to the DMs are on the roll. You guys, this is not DMs that are feeling sorry for themselves. Okay. These are DMs that are learning to take care of themselves. Okay. We have here a love partnership. He's working really hard to plant seeds here. And I was really getting this as divine feminine energy because it's creative energy because karmic partners don't have creative energy. They think they have creative energy, but I mean, divine feminine can do that and more. So like, it's just not a thing. And so divine feminines have, you know, even if you haven't tapped into DMs and you're on the twin flame, like, you know, this, right, that you have these creative gifts and this is working towards a love partnership. We have a number eight here. Okay. Planting seeds, knowing that seeds have been planted and wanting to, yeah, wanting to manifest those dreams, right? See the seeds have planted in the heart, in the action. Now masculine wants to manifest, masculine wants it. Reviewing life, clutter, take, getting rid of stuff, pushing it over the cliff, which is also a leap of faith, right? Which is like the fool card. So spirit is saying here, look at this, forgiveness, okay? Learning to forgive, releasing what no longer needs and wanting this abundance now in the journey, in the mission, in working together. Look at this. My screen just, I don't know if that affected the video, but look at that. You see things, this shit happens to me all the time. <laughs> Not all the time, but it's been happening since I was a little kid. You guys, these dark things have been trying to siphon me since I was a little child. I've seen them my whole life. I have been completely clear since my entire life. This is forgiveness here. And I can read it. I can read it in any person. Anyways, trust me, it's not a gift. Sometimes it feels like a curse. But yeah, forgiveness. Forgiveness about forgiving what's happened with everything and wanting to get on journey. Okay, this is really beautiful. We also have here perfection. Look, rebirthing. And look at all the blue. I can't tell you how much blue is here. Blue is my favorite color. But look at all the blue. Throat chakra, throat chakra, throat chakra, working with sacral, working with the crown, working with grounding and in the root. We have solar plexus, self-esteem, confidence, knowing self. This is amazing. Truly, truly forgiveness and a rebirth because he's taking care of himself, cherishing self, knowing and grounding his perfection into the earth, knowing that he is an old soul. I feel these divine masculines are like, why am I dealing with mediocrity? Like, what is this? Like, my di my divine feminine is so powerful. If my divine, this is what I'm getting. This is what I'm feeling to my masculine. Just saying, if my divine feminine is so damn powerful, why am I not powerful? I must be the same. These DMs have really recognized that this is one soul in two bodies. 
okay? And what is karmic and what is not karmic? We're going to clarify. Hallelujah. All right. Let's take a look, Spirit. What is going on with Divine Masculine here? Whew. Whew. God, I feel so much better. Oh, my God. That energy was something to clear today. Last two days, guys. Last two days, truly. Um, trying to pull in, like, depression and blah, 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 you know. Um, yeah, just all this stuff. And it's like, I, this is not me. Then I would assume it's my DM. But it's not the DM. It's the devil. And I believe it. the devil showed up several times in this. It may show up again. But it's that dark shit that's trying to pull at us. Sensitive impasse. That's what we got to deal with, you guys. If you want to learn how to work and own your power, hit me up an email, okay? But let's take a look here. Honestly, like my thing is ayahuasca and running retreats. Um, and I have a workshop as well. So if you guys want to take, just take a look down below. All my workshops and everything are down there and my membership and everything. Okay, let's take a look. Phew. All right, spirit. Fourth time's a charm, right? What is this expansion, spirit? What is this expansion? With embracing the future for divine masculines. Taking care of himself. Thank you, spirit. Taking care of himself. Yeah, thank you. Taking care of himself. What do we have? He's heartbroken. Three of swords. Third could be third party situation. Most twins are in third party situation. It just is what it is, you guys. Karmic is sometimes... Um, that's the best, the best, the reason why so many twins are in third party situation, relationships are the fastest route to marrying your shit and growing, right? So most twins are in karmic situations. We just got to accept that. Okay. But this is definitely like a lot of heartbreak that he, divine masculine wants to get out of with divine feminine energy. He's heartbroken about the feminine. Okay. Queen of pentacles, not being able to walk away. Wanting to return to the past, okay? Eight of Cups. We also have the Karmic. Queen of Swords and Queen of Wands are my Karmic energies. That's just how I read. So he's broken. He's broken up because he hasn't. This is, and I take cards as they come in order. So if you notice, I do my best to keep them as spirit to brings them out because they tell a story to me. And so this masculine is trying to expand and parent himself and move out of this heartbreak of divine feminine and not being able to walk away from Carmack, not being able to walk away from both, but he's tied because one is, is ego karmic and one is love, real love. So let's see whoa, and what fell on the ground. We're going to take it four of cups wanting to come out of a place of apathy of what he's lost. Okay. So let's clarify here. What is going on with divine masculine not being able to walk away from karmic energy from this queen of swords? The page of wands. They built a path together and this is what it is. So he, he feels bad. He sees very clearly. Right. But this masculine is not juggling this anymore because we have the two of swords uh, in reverse. So the blindfold is off and, and recognizing and seeing clearly where his delay is, his fear of change, his fear of breaking everything down because he has money and investment. This is about money. And this is about, look at this, the page of wands and, and knowing that he's already created a path here with her. And that's why he hasn't been able to walk away. And what about not being able to walk away from divine feminine? Knowing that he can't juggle this anymore. He can't juggle that he can't walk away from it. Why is that? Why is he seeing clearly? Okay. It's weighing very heavy on him, the dishonesty. He sees that very clearly too, that he ended a dream here. That he can't juggle this anymore. The weight, the weight of this with divine feminine and not being able to walk away, wanting to return with the dishonesty that he hasn't been honest with himself about how he, and this is all in the mind space. So he is thinking about this. This is why he's nurturing himself at this time. Okay. Um, and why he's also embracing the future. Okay. He's embracing the future here. Um, so he's seen the delay with the karmic energies. Okay. He's seen the delay with the path that he's built in his life. He's recognizing that he hasn't been able to walk away from it because of the financial. See, it's always the ego stuff, right? 
But with Divine Feminine, seeing where the heartbreak is and knowing very clearly that that guilt and shame is weighing very heavy on him of the dishonesty because he ended a dream. What dream did he end here, Spirit? This dream with Divine Feminine fell right on top of it, guys, okay? Because he was closed off and attached to, to money. Money. Look at the purse. Attached to whatever is happening with this karmic. So, so yeah, we're going to go into the extended and take a look at the karmic energies of what's happening. So you might want to join me over there too. And, and you guys, my extended readings are not like 10, 15 minutes. My extended readings are like another hour. Okay. So it's worth, it's really worth it. Cause I, I go deep, um, in my, in my extensions and in my readings. So yeah. So yeah. So that's the money stuff. So let's take a look here. Cause he's working hard. Uh, on a love partnership and planting seeds. So let's clarify here. What is he working hard at, Spirit in the Heart Space? Planting seeds. Look at this. And working really hard. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Look at this. For love, the hanged man and the four of swords in reverse. So wanting to end a separation for a love partnership. Wanting to kind of come out of healing, gaining enlightenment about this love. Wanting to work on a new offer of love. God's love, okay? This is spirit's love, not karmic love, not sex love, not lost love, divine love that you feel, you know, when you have your baby, when you, you know, when you're so in that peaceful, beautiful space of serenity, that's twin flame love, right? Let's see what he, this love is here, spirit, that he wants to end separation as well. Clarify the four swords with the ace of cups because he's been blocking it. King of cups in reverse, he's been blocking this. And he wants to end his conflict in his heart. Five of swords in reverse. He wants to come out of conflict. Clarify ending separation. Look at this coming out so fast, guys. Because he's codependent. He was codependent. Clarify his codependency. Look, at he's working on his codependency, his attachment, what he's attached in the physical world, what's creating um, these this dark energy. So he's, he's really waking up and working really hard here. And what about his blocked heart here? What's going on with his blocked heart here? Divine masculine. What is he working on with his blocked heart? He recognizes the blocked heart spirit. And he wants to end this conflict and codependency. So how is that working out for him right now? Look at this. He's healing the star. Yeah. So he's in the process of healing. Knows that he has his wishes. He has a wish fulfilled that he wants. And he can't take a leap of faith because of the amount of this healing that's happening and what enlightenment we're going to clarify the hanged man here with ace of cups what enlightenment has he gained about this love wow he has to end wow thank you let's take them this way spirit says this hanged man that he's gained enlightenment about this love is that he has to end a marriage a commitment okay to move forward here and to reveal the truth and then run Run for the hills, Bob Barker. I don't know why that's coming to run for them hills. Get on that motorbike and take off. So this is happening at quite the speed here, okay? Let's take a look here at he's renewing his life. And this is for a love partnership. I want to I clarify this love partnership. Clarify the love partnership. That's, this is, this is karmic energy. Clarify the twin one. The love partnership that he's working on. What is this? Of course. Ending it. Ending a love partnership. Death. Okay. With the five of pentacles. So abandoning it. Abandoning it. Working hard. Seeing the attachment to this. Revealing things that he that of his destiny of his healing of this of this divine love of his fears of not being able to move forward all of that death ending transformation abandoning five of pentacles because the queen of wands to me it's just how i read okay guys it's not I'm not because i have a lot of leo in my chart so I'm not saying that because you're a fire sign that you're dark but um you know it's just how the cards talk to me so yeah, when this came out in the love partnership, I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, it's because it's in love. No, the death, it's an ending. I love the, I love when, the, see when that happened. So he is looking at forgiveness now to manifest and renew his life, to move on to his quest that he was made for, 
clarify this quest and renewing life. What is Divine Masculine doing here with the forgiveness with these cards here? In the action, these are all the action positions, you guys, with the King of Wands, okay? He is taking action. He is actually actioning his divine purpose. This is why all that dark stuff is coming to you, divine feminine. He is releasing. It's been too dramatic. Wherever he's been, he's actioning the drama. And it's hard work, okay, guys? So he's doing the brunt work here in the 3D. Masculine's doing work. Look at that. Look at that. We have the emperor has not risen yet, letting go of control and ending contracts, okay? So he has not risen yet. He is still working through all this dramatic crap that's happening and working with forgiveness here. Whew, what is this getting rid of clutter? Look at this. I can't, guys, same position as the other readings, the devil, okay? Getting rid of... I clarify getting rid of clutter and the devil shows up now i was saying this in the other uh in the other videos that never happened because everything kept falling apart but this devil look he's hot i i would be tempted by this man okay like look he's got gold in his hair for god's sakes he's got tattoos Ooh, he's sexy this is how dark energy gets to you it does not come as darkness. It comes as your lustful desires, as your ego desires of the conditioning of your family's ancestral wounds, of how you were raised, how you've always done things in your family life, how you've always done things in the earth plane. This is where the devil attaches to. Because remember, guys, we have fallen in consciousness and this masculine is recognizing and getting rid of devil energy in his life. Oh, thank you. He's recognizing his perfection here, okay? Knowing that he's having a rebirth, okay? Number seven, this is 96, this is 26, this is an eight, this is a nine, okay? Just so you guys know. But let's see, he's cherishing himself. He's rebirthing himself. He's seen that he's a perfect being. He was trying to, uh, he was thinking that he was this devil like the karmic. The karmic had him believing that he was just like her or, her or him, whatever your situation no, you're not. You're a divine being. You're on a twin flame journey. You already have light codes that you came higher than a lot of than those that are not in that journey. Okay. You have these codes that are very high vibrational. That's why, and you guys know that. So this is getting rid of drinking. I feel a lot of, and look at this. There's a glass of wine in this picture here. Coffee, wine, love. How am I going to take care of myself? Look at that. I feel there's been a lot of drinking with divine masculines, a lot of overindulgence. Alcohol is not good for us, you guys. In moderation, yes, but you have to recognize in the back in the days, they didn't call it spirits for no reason, okay? It will lower your vibration. It's not like plants. Plant medicine is different. They leave you awakened and alive. Cannabis is one thing, but we'll have to do a video on that. That's different, but it's a lower frequency plant, which is saying cannabis. But it can help you work with dark energies and how to heal that. But this is alcohol. Okay. This is drinking. Ending toxic behaviors of overindulgence. Whatever that overindulgence is, very saying divine masculine is honoring, honoring and cherishing himself. He's getting himself clean and sober because he's passionately, this came out like this, feeling divine feminine. He wants a new beginning with divine feminine. We have the empress here. Okay. Remember we saw the emperor here that he's actioning. He hasn't risen yet, but he is, he's choosing a passion, this passionate path. He's feeling it. And he knows that he's having regrets. What is this regret spirit? He's rebirthing himself. He, he's rising up. Okay. Five of cups rebirthing. What is this out of the regrets? Yeah. Out of the regrets of the betrayal. Okay of not moving, of not actioning, that he knows that the ghosting and the not actioning and the, and the karmic situations and the betrayal and the cheating and the whatever, whatever happened in your situation, he's looking out the window. He's like, how do I plan this? How do I move forward with this now? All right. Really good, guys. Really good. We're going to take a look at Divine Feminine Energies. When I go into the extended, this is already 34 minutes. When I go into the extended, we're going to look at what is actually going on with the karmic, with the Divine Masculine and the karmic energies. 
okay? And we're going to get deeper into seeing what are the plans are moving forward, okay? All right. Let's do this. I'm going to use the same... Um, Spirit wants me to use the same um, cards, except we're going to use the Light Seer's deck, and we're going to use a different tarot. But for now... Just give me a sec. You can fast forward this, but it shouldn't be too much longer. Okay. We are going to use these ones. And these ones. And these ones. Okay. And this had fallen out of the deck. Um, it came up this way in one of the recordings that it didn't take. And it's the Three of Wands. So I want to bring that out for Divine Baskin that he is looking ahead and planning. Okay. Waiting for his ships and... There's something monetary that's happening that he's waiting for. It's another reason why I'm getting is why um, he hasn't come forward to Divine Feminine. Okay. Let's take a look at Divine Feminine energy, guys. All right. So I'm going to sit up a little bit. This couch is not the most comfortable. Okay. What is going on with Divine Feminine energy spirit? So what message is you have for Divine Feminine? So spirit is saying... Um, because the masculine is releasing, okay, you're going to intuitively feel this, but they don't want you to think divine masculines are in a good space. I'm getting, it is the devil energy that is making you think that he's in a bad place. He's not the devil. The darkness does not want you to feel what's actually happening. Okay. It's creating a lot of shade between the twins. So. Spirit is saying, Divine Feminine, if you're feeling any of those lower vibrations right now, it's not you, and it's not your DM. It is the darkness. Okay? It is not you. It is not your DM. It is the darkness scratching at those ancestral wounds. Okay? So, this is from Spirit. What does Spirit want to say in regards to, look at this, perseverance. Look at this, perseverance, release. 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 This came out in the other readings as well. Release Divine Feminine from your heart. It is not your DM. It is not the betrayal of the past. Everything. This is new vibration. This is bringing you guys closer into mission. Okay. You've got to let go of anything that's ever happened because that's how the darkness is playing right now. It is going to try and trigger you Divine Feminine. You are intuitive. You are sensitive. It is coming into your energy to try. And it's, they're telling me for you guys watching this, it's going to do it through your work. It's going to do through people that you work with. It's going to happen in any way that it can to pull you out of your alignment. Okay. Let's take a look at the action. What else, Spirit? And one more. Okay. Well, those two want to come up together. So we'll take that. We have bittersweet. It might feel the way that you've been talking to your twin and communicating. Spirit is saying no more on telepathy. No more talking to your twin on the inside. This is actually inhibiting a lot of twins right now because the dark forces are working in that same channel that you're communicating with. It's not in the channel. Okay, they're showing me like, you know, how if this is your channel, you're on one end and the twin is on the other end. They're on the outskirts here and they're pulling, they're siphoning. They're siphoning what they can from here, okay, from the sidelines. They can't get into your connection with your twin because it's purely divine, but it's siphoning to create fog and mist around it so that when you're reading the energy, you're not getting a real feel. It's it's mimicry, okay? That's The spirit wants you to recognize that, that it's mimicking and um, creating a lot of lies and deceit. So right now, between now and December, spirit is being very clear as not to buy into these lower frequencies. It's not your DM. It is not you. It is the darkness scratching the wounds on both ends trying to create illusion to keep you separate we have growth grow through this complacency divine feminines okay it's time to grow out of this complacent place okay spirit is really bringing up these groups of twins and people that work with me okay your high vibrational beings creatures <laughs> i'm hearing creatures are high vibrational creatures we're not even really human right we're just these these are just our bodies, our vessels, our space suits, our earth suits. But spirit is saying here that this energy, okay, you got to grow out of this complacency and this loss, okay, because it's tricking now. The telepathy is tricking the mass consciousness of the twins, okay? It's tricking everybody. 
this is a complete surrender to God's source, complete and letting all of those things go. Um, I was triggered this morning, hardcore. You know, I have to do, I've been doing everything by myself my entire life. You know, I've had a lot of resentment towards my ex-husband because he doesn't do anything. I'm just going to be honest. He doesn't, he doesn't pay for them. He doesn't do anything. Um, I've ra raised them by myself, worked, supported them, everything, build my business, blah, 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 blah. And I'm so tired, but you know, that devil energy was working on me this morning. I was bitching in the kitchen this morning, making lunch. I just gave my oldest, uh, 20 bucks. I'm like, go buy lunch today. I can't deal. And um, I'm just like, and my dishwasher's broken. So I have to go fix that. And I'm like, where is my man? I can't do everything. But the devil came right in. That dark came in and played on that. Played on my poor me little victim. That shit will do it. You guys, we cannot allow it. I picked up on it right away and look at what was happening. Trying to infiltrate the reading. Okay. Like this should have been done. I've been trying to do this since 8.30 this morning. Okay, you guys? It's now three hours later. Like, seriously. Whew, divine Feminine. What is going on here? Divine Feminine. <laughs> what is Spirit saying, Divine Feminine? To persevere. Okay? You have. You have all the support that you are getting. What is this perseverance? Thank you. Release. Divine Feminine, thank you. Effort. Happy endings, okay? Persevere. This is the end of an old vibration. This is a lot of self-esteem stuff, okay? Do you see how the masculine's pulling you up? Okay, Divine Feminines, you got to recognize that right now. By them ending karmic situations in the 3D, it is leveling up your psychic abilities and your intuition and your empathic abilities. Spirit wants you to know that right now. It is showing you your power against the darker forces. This is a huge lesson that we have to learn, Divine Feminines. Okay? This is self-love that's happening. You're not losing anything in the 3D. This also came up in the other readings that did not record because of the dark shit. We have health, manifestation, okay? Growing in your health. Eight, these are two eights. Eight, eight is also abundance. That came out in the in the last card with the health card in the other reading was the abundance, was the manifestation um, of abundance, the eight, eight. This is seven, one, which is eight, which is health, Okay. Your health, taking care of your emotional well-being, taking care, taking care of your energy, not buying into this at all, growing out of this complacency that's manifested in the root chakra. Okay? Stop those belief systems, Divine Feminine. You are so powerful. So powerful, my Divine Feminines. You're not a mediocre, okay, karmic energy, okay? The karmics don't have power like you. You know, they don't, they just don't. It's not their life to have this power. It's your life to have this power, okay? You guys have been working on this for eons. It's your time. It's your game now, DM, DFs, DMs too. It's your game. All right, let's take a look here. Let's take a look. So next week, I'm going to do a channel teaching spirits bringing this through about how the dark codes affect affect the twin flames. Okay. I'm getting a lot of, 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 um, information now of how they're siphoning the channel between the twins and what's going on and how this is playing out with your ancestry line. So stay tuned for that. So that's going to be the channel teaching for next week. All right. We're going to use the star seed and, uh, deck because I believe a lot of us are from the stars who are at this high frequency. So let's take a look. Spirit, perseverance for divine feminines of ending things. Release and making the effort. Thank you. And one more. All right. So let's take a look here. Divine feminines, we have you're persevering in the mind of ending patterns that no longer serve you and gaining your self-esteem, okay? We have a 12, which is down to a 3, which is also like Christ Conscious and Unity and the Holy Trinity and really working on your power in the Holy Trinity to persevere. You are working with your intuition, with your angels, with your guides, with God's source. Spirit is really saying, I really want you to come up to God's source. The all that I am, that I am, that I am. The all that is, the one true uh, God source. Do not go 
to anybody else, your guides, your angels, spirit is saying, come to the father, come to the, to the foot of God, come and ask your creator. You can do that. You can say creator who created my soul, please. I want to move out of this vibration. I want my power. I want to persevere. Help me with these energies. Okay. Spirit is also bringing through here. Oops. What am I doing here? Um, Look at this. The whale and or orca elders. Oh, this is beautiful. Share your song frequency of sound and diving deep. You guys are really here to um, share your mission and your gifts. Okay. So spirit wants you to focus on, on these gifts and dive to the bottom of the ocean. This is going through deep emotional healing, divine feminine, whatever your masculine is releasing, it is helping you to heal so you can move into the new vibration to heal and bring those healing codes. This is, uh, the orcas are beautiful. They are the elders. Spirit is saying that they are some of the oldest spirits that are on the planet. Okay. Orcas are also twin flames. When they mate, they mate for life. Okay. So this is very much a twin flame card. And so this is, uh, look up the orcas. Okay. They, they really have a clear connection to twin flames. So spirit is bringing the, and there's two of them swimming here. Okay. So this is really about getting on mission and sharing your soul frequency a sound, listening to high vibrational sounds. I'm hearing chanting meditations, really clearing your vibration, okay? Divine Feminine, putting an ending to the old vibration. In the heart space, we have make the effort to release things that are taking your power away in your solar plexus. You are being called to go out through that door, okay? Soul gifts and training. It's time to step up the game. That's it. It's time to step it up. Time to step it up. Release, 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 release. This is also a number four so that a foundation can be built. Four pillars, okay? Four elements. We also have here bittersweet, self-love, okay? Trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. The time is not, time is not running out for you and your twin. When, if you're letting go, spirit is saying, it's okay. This is a time for self-love, number seven, Trust in divine timing. Trust that you are being guided. Trust that God has your back with your connection. Okay? Trust that there is massive healing that is happening, massive releasing that is happening, that this darkness is trying everything to get at you, DFs. You have to level up. It's very important, okay? Very important that you're leveling up right now. Okay? Here in the end, we have growth and complacency, right? We have lifting the veil. You need to question everything. Anything unaligned must go. Okay? Your health, not eating right. I feel like there's a smoker out there smoking. Okay? Um, exercise. I know we're in lockdown, guys. I know it's hard. My gym's close, too, and my building, too. It's driving me insane. Uh, I feel like I'm so locked up. And it's cold here, so... <laughs> Like, why do I live in Canada? Um, health and manifestation. This is to clear your vibration so you can manifest your dreams into reality. You are hitting the next level. The veil is being lifted in the energies. Your intuition is going to pick up. So there's some very potent messages happening here. Let's clarify. All right. Let's pull some tarot out and then we will go to the extended. Okay, guys? And the extended is probably going to be, yeah, probably just as well. It's just the info I get, guys. I got to I gotta follow up for, I've tried to do short videos, but I get such potent messages. I, it's just not a thing for me. <laughs> I bring down so much. So let's take a look here. Let's see this perseverance here. What is this perseverance? What is this perseverance for Divine Feminine? Ooh, putting an end to old vibration spirit is saying we're going to take a look at the bottom here for divine feminine ending pain okay ending all of the pain getting out of it seeing the light at the end of the tunnel okay so persevering putting an end to the old trusting the journey getting on mission listening to high vibrational music meditating chanting renewal of self we have the judgment the two of swords and the five of wands in reverse okay 
So if this is renewal of self, divine feminine, okay? You are still blinded to certain things in the energy that's happening. Do not trust. Remember, the darkness does not come as evil. <laughs> not to awaken beings, okay? Not all the time. When you're awakened, they know that you've stepped up your game. They are going to come through things and how you've already been doing them. So if you've been talking to your twin, if you've been talking in, in 5D, if you've been doing, you know, watching obsessively on tarot, even on this, whatever it is, spirit is saying, it's masking. There are things that you are blinded to. You need to stop this internal battle. Stop fighting the vibration that you're currently in, Divine Feminine. You need to persevere through it and put an end to wherever you have been um, attaching to, okay? Let's clarify this Two of Swords. What is Divine Feminine blinded to? They're blinded to certain things. I can feel it. You are blinded, Divine Feminine, okay? We have manipulation, okay? You've been blinded to the manipulation of the darker forces. It's halting your progress, and building your firm, abundant foundation. Okay, this is Ten of Pentacles. This is money, abundance, solid family life. Okay, it's put a halt to this because it's be, there's certain things that are being manipulated in the energies. Okay, so can you give us some guidance on that spirit for divine feminines? I feel like I need to pull this. So this reading is really for DFs to really see that your masculine is healing, but those codes in the earth plane, just how when divine feminine brings in the energy from the higher source, right? We bring in the codes. Divine masculine comes and takes that and builds into the physical. Divine masculine is now working in the opposite fashion. They are releasing, they are healing, they're sealing up their energy in the 3D world. That energy, boom, comes up, rises up through the divine feminine, and she feels the intuition. She feels the energy of it, but not recognizing that it's siphoned. She's blinded, right? Because she's operating in the old energy. Spiritually, you can't operate in the old energy anymore. You've got to do it differently now. So make a different choice in how you are speaking. Spirits like come right to God. Come right to the Father. Go right to the Father God, okay? The all that is. We're getting another oracle here. Spirit is saying you are under divine protection, okay? They are protecting you. And Spirit is saying what, what you need to learn in this darkness, you see how she's in complete darkness? It's for you to level up. OK, because as you ascend, you're going to have to learn how to work in all kinds of forms of energy. So you are protected with this darkness. Spirit wants you to recognize that you are blinded for a reason because you've got to learn the discernment part to learn about how, where your powers are. OK, that's why the solar plexus and they're bringing this up and they're showing me the two of swords now with the with the with this yellow. You're learning your power, divine feminines. OK, so don't feel bad if you are getting and you're feeling it. It is a test to teach you and to show you how to use your powers and your psychic abilities and your empathic abilities much stronger now. So, yes, you will be tested in this. OK. All right. But you are under protection. Recognize no matter how dark you are under massive protection. here. OK. So let's take a look here at releasing make the effort to release the old ways divine feminine you are being called to walk through a new portal look at this the wheel of fortune fate is coming in the truth is coming in okay reunion truth reunion ace of swords the wheel of fortune and the three of cups okay so you are being called release make the effort make the conscious effort you guys okay coming up. I'm going to do a ritual on my membership. If you guys want to work how to work in ceremonies and do rituals, high vibrational white magic. I don't do dark magic. Okay. There's no such thing as black magic unless you, you believe in the dark. Like we are divine beings. So if you work with your power, the dark does will not bother you. Right. The, the dark God lets you experience certain dark things so that you can level up. Sometimes we need that. We need that. How do children learn? You know, they don't always learn by you telling them they have to experience it. We are the same way. Okay. So spirit is saying this is for reunion here. Okay. This is for uh, the truth and the divine communication and reunion. I know it's a burden, but you're at the end of this burden and frustration. Okay. What is this truth and this reunion that's coming through? Look, 10 of cups wants to come up. We have 10, 10. 
ending of cycles, new beginnings, okay? You're right on the verge here, Divine Feminine. Beautiful. Let's take a look at bittersweet, self-love. Trust the divine timing that's happening right now. It might feel bittersweet, okay? Look at this. Divine Masculine's got the same thing. This heart, this love, okay? Seeing it very clearly, this love is getting activated. It's being offered to both Divine Masculine and to Divine Feminine. You are running parallel together. When Divine Masculine releases, Divine Feminine releases. When Divine Feminine releases, Divine Masculine releases. Spirit is saying here, slowly moving through the instability of this old foundation. Whatever you have built up, whatever is manifesting in your 3D world, move methodically through Okay, guys, move through it slowly and surely and know your footing as you're moving forward. Be careful with the choices that you're making. Okay, this juggling back and forth. This is between the two vibrations. Spirit is saying for divine feminine. Okay, masculine's not wavering anymore. He's making clear cut decisions. Spirit is saying here, this juggling has to stop. You have to choose the higher powers of God. And they keep telling me this. I don't want you talking no spirit guides. I don't want you talking to no angels. I don't want you talking to anything lower than the source itself. That's your frequency. Is God source. Okay? God says, I created all those other realms. These are, these are the ones that are watching. You guys are powerful, okay? Spirit's saying, yes, it's good to work with all those other things, but that's the level of consciousness, of healing that you've been able to do. Spirit's like, now you're ready to let that go and come right to source, okay? The moon, using your intuition to move through the dark, okay? Making proper decisions, justice, karma. Karma is being served here, okay? You've got to end and move into the new vibe. Divine feminines, growing, complacency, health, lifting the veil. No more complacency. Done with the betrayal energy, you guys. Sorry, my window is open if you're hearing beeping. I'm so sorry. Um, being single, independent getting that coin, being in that divine feminine energy. Masculine's not ready yet. He's just cutting out 3D stuff. Remember, 3D stuff takes longer to deal with, okay, and to ground, okay, and to transmute. You're transmuting those dark codes that are releasing from the 3D world right now, okay? Ten of swords, being abundant, walking away, okay, walking away from this old vibe complacency spirit really needs you to do that you're lifting up the veil you're taking care of your health and you're manifesting divine feminines okay we've been sitting in a in a place for too long a, a loop a cycle is ending okay so it can't nothing can move until we do this divine feminine yeah cannot move this relationship look at this look at this i knew the devil was going to show up at some point putting an end to how the relationship was and ending the pain or anything that's surrounding this beautiful connection. Look at this. This is you and, div and divine masculine, okay? Or divine masculine and you and divine feminine. This is the death card. Putting it, but look at the darkness. Transforming this, ending the pain with this devil. The dark. Things aren't moving because of this. Okay, divine feminine. Time to level up now. Masculines have been doing their work. Time to level up in the energy. Let's take a look at this toxic energy. Ending the pain. of Because that's how the devil's getting you. Haha. <laughs> look at this. This is <laughs> trying to instigate. This devil energy is trying to give you balance through depression. And, and through um, coming in to the, to the four of wands in your family life, in your home life. That's why we have the ten of pentacles here. Okay through how you're building your foundation, because Divine Feminine, we have a harder time with 3D stuff. We're so friggin' intuitive. It's hard to ground sometimes and be in this soft energy, right? I know, guys, I'm so sensitive. I can't even believe how soft I am as a feminine. I never even realized how soft I was. But all of these burdens of the 3D world start to get to Divine Feminines because you're so soft. And it depends on where you are in your journey. But Spirit is saying this devil energy is trying to give you this depression it's trying to balance you're trying to balance between your depression and sadness and and this toxicity but spirit is saying it's a false giving of this devil trying to break down your family life trying to break down your foundation trying to affect your 3d world is what i'm getting of where your money is where your investments are where are you putting your attention this devil is sitting right here going <laughs> what? that's what i'm hearing <laughs> it's like Ooh. How can 
I affect this now? Spirit's like, we have to become very aware because all this darkness is surrounding this two of cups with the divine feminine and divine masculine. It's it's transforming. What is this transformation that's happening with the, with the twins? Look at this. Moving on to peace and clearly seeing where imbalances are and disharmony. Okay? Both are doing this. Both are doing this. All right. I'm going to grab some healing messages. I'm going to move over to the extended. In the extended, guys, we're going to take jump right into karmic energies. We're going to see what the karmic is doing. We're going to go more into detail. I'm going to channel and see what is going on with the karmic energy towards the divine masculine, toward, towards divine feminine. So you guys have a better understanding of what is happening in those energies and so that you can be prepared. Okay, because I know there's a lot of darkness that's coming through right now. And um, I was attacked again last two days. Okay. And some of these karmics are doing energy work. They think they know what the hell they're doing. They ain't got no clue what they're doing, guys. I can't even. Half the freaking people on this planet know what the hell they're doing with energy. I can't even with it. And um, yeah, let's get some healing messages for Divine Master and Divine Feminine. And if you join me over into the extended, it is probably going to be another hour read that you guys can sit there and watch. But uh, you get it for 72 hours, okay, guys? You get it for a good three days. So, all right. Whew. Let's take a look here. Let's take a look. What is going on? Are some healing messages for divine masculine and divine feminine? Okay, this is for the connection, the one that fell out there that you saw. Spirit is saying this is for the connection between the two. We're going to put it right there. Can I have a message for divine, healing message for divine masculine energy? Thank you. And one for Divine Feminine. Thank you. Thank you. The connection. Relief. Oh, you guys, this is beautiful. This is the connection. This is what's happening in your connection right now. Moving away. Look at this dark castle. It's like walking away from a scary castle. Moving away from where you've been trapped. In this fortress of darkness and this light is shining and it's being peaceful. Both you and Divine Masculine, both you, uh, uh, sorry, I say you because I mostly speak to Divine Feminines on here, but you, Divine Masculine as well, and Divine Feminine, carrying the flowers, seeing that, look at her third eye is activated. She's wearing a root chakra uh, necklace here, okay? The sun is beaming down from, and look at this, is in the shadows, moving away from those dark things and having relief oh, that you can breathe, okay? Divine masculine, continue to nurture yourself. Sing. There's a there's a horse there. Be free, wild. And we have butterflies here. Transforming. Beautiful. Being in nature, being with the mother, being with Pachamama, grounded energy. Okay. Being in the earth. Okay. And allowing this magic to happen. And divine feminine, look at this. Sing your song. This is music. Being in a high vibration, chanting. So music is very important. It's coming through very strong for Divine Feminines. We need that music. Listen, I can't live without music, you guys. Can't live without. I would die, literally, if I don't play every day. We have truth and a number seven. Look at the truth of the situation. Be in this vibration. Move into this. Anything that does not match this vibration is not for you. All right, my loves. Whew, that was a great reading. Finally got that out. Oh, my God. Come join me in the extended. We're going to get even into more detail. I'm going to see what's going on between divine masculine and divine feminine. I'm going to look into the, the money situation. I feel there's a lot of money situations that are happening. Um, so I'm going to look into that. I'm going to see how it was going on between divine masculine and divine feminine as well. Actually, I, I feel like the karmic, I feel like what I'm going to do is between divine masculine and the karmic energies and karmic energies toward divine feminine. And then what's happening between the two. I think it's going to be a, a pretty long reading. So join me over at the extended. If not, so much love, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like and love and comment. Finally got it out. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. It is, there's going to be communication coming. Okay. So for some of you, there is definitely communication coming. We have a renewal here with the judgment. Thank you. Shadow treasures. God said, I had to put both of you through this dark time, okay? I'm pushing you both through the darkness to find the light here so you can renew yourself and come as a humbled, a humbled um, child of God to come forward and to um, do your work and what you really came here to do, to heal the planet and to heal humanity, okay? So those energies are here. 
and for the love between the two. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. This is so beautiful. I'm gonna just cry. I can feel it. Divine love. Oh my god, with the ace of cups, you guys. Oh my god, I'm crying. This is so beautiful. This is God's love, right? This is God's love. It's coming. The cycles. You're in your own Garden of Eden. This is being created for the twins, okay? 